The sound of the alarm clock shakes Billy up, but he was never asleep. His nights are filled with the terrible thoughts that this world doesn't need him and that he would be better off leaving. As he walks down the stairs, every step that he takes he crushes a capsule. His mother's laying drugged up, he knows this isn't natural, carries her to her room and vows he'll never get captured by these drugs and alcohol that has his mother in a stupid stature. But Billy never had a mentor to show him the road. His mother was an addict and his father was a ghost, so at the age of 18, Billy built himself a dream to move out to the Hollywood Hills and to make it on the big screen. But those hills are only pretty when they are far away. Billy got into a bad crowd and they led him astray. He fell in love with a girl, her name was Cocaine, but little did he know she was completely insane. The promise he once made to himself had been shattered and nothing but the drugs was all that really mattered. The months went by, where did Billy go? He's now sleeping under a bridge in the ice and the snow. Billy thinks of his mother and how she used to bring him shame. But now he's became the same. Living for the high is all he can see. The big screen fame is still only a dream. If you're drowning just like Billy, please reach out a hand. There are many people who will help you float back to dry land. The first step is the hardest, but I promise you there is hope. There's a much better way than staying addicted to dope. And now, for all of you who's judging Billy and his actions, look in the mirror, you too have an addiction. Maybe it's not pills or swigging from a bottle, but your addiction is something that is for certain. Whatever you spend your money on, that is your addiction. Whatever you spend your time on, that is your addiction. Maybe you say, I have too much pride, will then get addicted to humility. Well, now, I'm addicted to pain, will learn to show some love. But, but I'm addicted to wealth, well, then go home the homeless. All these things I've mentioned is addiction at its finest. If you're addicted to the negative, find a way to make it positive because helping other people helps you in the end. Addiction is always spoken with the drug addicts who live in slums, but addiction is around us no matter where we go. Getting addicted to yourself and improving your mental health and only then you can begin to help someone else. Ten years have passed on and Billy is sitting at home. Two overdoses later and he's finally done. The scars on his arms remind him that his past is pain and how he will never go back to making his mind go insane. Billy got himself a wife and a little boy too. They're perfectly beautiful and he's quit the drugs and the booze. Directing movies in Hollywood has become his profession and he knows if he goes back to his past, he will only have one of two options. Either the hammer will blow and the bars will clink and he will be locked up faster than he can blink or the dancing will continue and the reaper will know and overdose number three will be the end of the show. I'm here for anybody that is going through their life in pain. Believe me, I'm not perfect, but I'll listen to what you're saying. I'll answer the best I can, and I'll share with you my life in hopes that you're saved from the demons in your mind.